nothing happens. Then our press conference will go on. And they listen to me, I'm not telling that our press conference is going on that we are going to fight the government. We are not going to fight any government. They are our government. And there is no way we can fight them. We can never fight our government. We are only letting them know that this thing that is before us are what many people have staged everything they have to. People have committed lot of things to it. People have borrowed money. People have sold their homes. People have sold their lands. People have borrowed. Have borrowed. In fact, a lot of things has happened. And as I speak to you, so many people are in the hospital. So many people have died. So many people are in coma. So many people are even dying. Some people have cannot eat. Some people children are out of school. A lot of things has happened. Why must we still be adding salt to injury? Nigeria, our own country, that we have leaders that are very funny. Very funny leaders. That sometimes what concerns me and you, the masses doesn't concern them. It doesn't bother them. What bothers them is that one that is their own. That one that they want is what bothers them. It what bothers them. And we are me and you doesn't understand all these things. Our own is we just rise up, we fight innocent persons, we, we accuse innocent persons, we blame them for nothing, and this and that. Tell me who will it be that will be happy. I'm telling us this thing because I have said today. A lot of calls has come and they, we are leaders who listen to our people. When they are saying, oh, God, since this and that, this and let us give them at least in a Friday. I will not say no to that. I will not say no. We listen. If from today to Friday, nothing happens, then our press conference will go on. And they listen to me. I'm not telling that our press conference is going on that we are going to fight the government. We are not going to fight any government. They are our government. And there is no way we can fight them. We can never fight our government. We are only letting them know that this thing that is before us are what many people have staged everything they have to. People have committed lot of things to it. People have borrowed money. People have sold their homes. People have sold their lands. People have borrowed. Have borrowed. In fact, a lot of things has happened. And as I speak to you, so many people are in the hospital. So many people have died. So many people are in coma. So many people are even dying. Some people have cannot eat. Some people children are out of school. A lot of things has happened. Why must we still be adding salt to injury? They are raising tensions again over all these things. Our goal is to look for the source where these things are happening from and see how we can help out to see it happen. This is what we are asked for. I plead again to all CEOs in Nigeria, all CEOs, I plead to you all. Please let us all get ready. When we seek, we have already we have already been doing it. And this time around that we're almost at the end of it, we'll not be tired. The reason we are doing this is for, for, for government to make it more faster. For them to understand that human beings are the ones here. They are putting into all these pressures and all these tensions. It's not them over there. It is me and you that are facing all these things. If we are facing it, we don't add to what we are facing. We need to now look for a way to addressing this matter to the government. Begging them and pleading them to please help us do the needful and do it on time. This is what we are out for. Not out to start fighting people who are supposed to fight. Worry people don't so to worry. This person talk in the social media, you accuse, you abuse. This person talk there, you worry, you do this, you insult. No, now we don't need to be doing all these things.